Hey, what's up everybody? Again, my name is Wes and thank you for tuning in. If you're here today, you're here for part two of how to start your very own vending machine business. For those of you who might have missed my first video, the basis of this series is that I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your own full line vending machine business from the ground up. In today's video, we're going to be highlighting how to form your business structure online through your Secretary of State. We're going to get your domain name registered. And the part that I'm personally super excited about is that I'm going to be submitting for a business logo online through Fiverr.com. And I'm going to show you the results of that logo in this video. Right now, I've got you in the North Carolina Secretary of State's website. This is where you'll go to form your LLC or any other business structure that you prefer. And if you're in a different state, just make sure you go to your particular state's Secretary of State website. There's two different things that we're going to be doing here primarily. If you're in North Carolina, you can just follow along. If you're in a different state, you'll need to kind of see how your particular website's laid out, but they're all going to be basically the same. Um, here, what we're going to be doing is filing the Articles of Organization so that I can become an LLC. I've already done this through the site, but I just kind of want to show you the steps. Um, what you're going to do is go to start a business. Um, before you fill out the paperwork and submit it, you actually want to check the name availability first to make sure that you're submitting a name that's um, available. So you'll start by company. Um, you can search the words in any of these categories. We'll just match it up with all words. And then we'll say um, Asheville Vending. And then also a tagged on services with my name. So we'll search it to make sure it's available. And it looks like here that's taken, but this is because I've actually already registered my name. If you typed in a name and it was already there, that means someone's already taken it. Um, you can view their annual reports and some other documents that they'll be submitting. But basically you won't be able to submit your articles of organization for something that already exists. But once you um, have your name, you want to go back to start a business and under this page is where you're going to be able to um, name your business structure choose the name and actually file for your articles of organization and that's going to allow you to become an, an actual business in the state of that you're residing in so that takes care of the first step here this is a very important step definitely something that you don't want to skip you want to make sure that you're a legitimate business in the state that you're operating in before you actually submit your articles of organization, because there is a fee associated with that, and it is different from state to state. In North Carolina, I believe I paid $125, and it actually came back within a couple of days um, as approved. But before you submit that paperwork and submit your name, the other thing that you're going to want to do is to make sure that your domain name is available for that name. Um, there's no sense in paying the money and getting a business launched in a name that's already taken by someone else. Um, there are folks out there who buy domain names and resell them. Um, somebody may already just have the domain name and just haven't done this step yet. So just make sure that you've cross-referenced that um, on GoDaddy name silo. There's a variety of different sites and we'll go ahead and show you that now. All right, so guys, real quick, before we jump into creating the domain name, uh, it is really important to, to form an LLC. One of the main advantages to creating an LLC for yourself is to shield yourself from any kind of a lawsuit. If you have a business structure in place, you're not commingling your funds meaning that you're actually having your payments uh, sent to a business bank account, which I also recommend, then if someone ever chokes on some candy, gets sick, has a reaction, a machine falls on them, anything crazy that could happen, and they decide that they want to sue you, having an LLC and all the proper paperwork in place is going to save your butt. And just because you have an LLC doesn't mean that they can't sue you personally. It really just means that they're going to be able to sue the company first and limit your personal liability, meaning your cars, your home, your personal bank account. But keep in mind, I'm not an accountant, I'm not a lawyer, so definitely seek your own counsel and don't rely on my words, but this is just something that I'm gonna be doing personally for my own business. All right, we'll keep videoing as soon as this guy quits the leaf blowing. Okay, so as I mentioned before, there are many different sites that you can use to get a domain name registered. In this case, we just went ahead and went over to godaddy.com so they've changed the look up a little bit since I've been here last, but uh, either way, you'll type in your business name or the dom domain name that you want to choose for your website, something that you're going to be using in the future, maybe not immediately, but you definitely want to make sure that that's something that is secured in your possession before you uh, register that with a secretary of state. So in this case, let's just try something. I will say vend vending. 
All right, looks like that's available. So if that's your company name, VinVending.com is available for $11.99 for the first year. And it usually gives up a little bit. Uh, looks like it'll probably be somewhere in that range yearly, $17.99, maybe less. But it is a yearly fee that you'll pay, be paying for this. But you definitely want to secure it before someone else gets it and tries to start a business in the name that you're already operating in. And just for example, we'll go back here and I'll type in my Asheville Vending Services. That's kind of a long name, but um, seeing this example, it's already taken. I've personally purchased this name. You'll see this pop up if uh, the name that you've picked is already taken. Either way, just to keep things simple, make sure that before you submit your articles of organization and pay the $125 fee, make sure you've also secured the domain names. Now that we have our business named, we have registered with the Secretary of State and became an actual LLC, we've also secured our domain name, the next step is going to be to create a business logo for ourselves. What I've decided to do for this video is to have someone create a logo for me through Fiverr.com. Some of you may be familiar with this website, some of you maybe not. The purpose of this website is to bring freelancers together to help you with any type of need that you may have. You can see some examples are graphics and design, digital marketing, writing, animation, etc. What we'll do is go to business logo. So what it's going to show is a whole page and actually multiple pages of freelance artists with examples of their work, their reviews, their pricing, etc. Now to help narrow down your options, you can go and create filters here. I like to go with top rated sellers and then level two sellers. You can select your delivery times. If you're in a hurry, you can do 24 hours. It's gonna cost a little bit more, three to seven days, but I'm gonna go with any time. And you can also select your budget, a minimum and a maximum. I'm really trying to get away without spending any more than $60. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna filter and show you different folks who are gonna be able to help you out with your logo within those parameters. So I did some looking earlier and I was happy with this design here. It's got 4.8 stars out of 239 reviews. If you find someone that you're interested in, just click on their name. And then you'll be able to see a few more options. So I did like these logos. There's some other options here as well. But ultimately I decided this was a seller that I wanted to go with. So you can click basic, standard, which gives you two more, or one more logo or a premium which gives you an additional logo. So there's different options with each seller, basic, standard, and premium. In this case, what I'm gonna go with is a standard package for $40. He said he's gonna provide two concepts in high resolution. It claims in the title it's 12 hour delivery. Down here it says one day delivery with unlimited revisions. I'm okay with one day. I'm really more, more interested in the unlimited revisions. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and place this order to go ahead and get it in the queue. Looks like he's got seven orders in queue right now. That's also important. Some people, when you go to look at, they may have 70 or 100 orders in queue. And that may affect your delivery time a little bit. But either way, I'll go ahead and order this and then we'll show you the results. And just like that, we have our logo. Let's check it out. All right, so true to his word, he got this back to me within 24 hours. Uh, again, the title said 12 hours, but it wound up being right at 24 hours later. And luckily for me, instead of getting just two logos, which I paid for, he offered three. So that was a plus. So we got one, two, three. Um, you, know, you tell me which one you like. I, I've got mine picked out here. Um, when I first looked at it, I liked this one a lot. And the more I looked at it, it looked more like an RVS instead of AVS. And so he did do some revisions for me pretty quickly. And... Made it looked a little bit better, it looked more like an A, and the V was more pronounced. And I thought this is what I was going to go with. And then that kind of later on just kind of struck me as being a little too heavy metal looking, especially with the Vs. And so I really decided against it. And so I think the one that won out over the three for me is this version. And um, he actually wound up going back and providing a vector image even, even though that wasn't included in the, in the package. So now I can lay it over. Um, a business card or any other kind of website but uh, yeah this is what we're going to go with AVS um, asked him about the font he said it's actually something that he drew on his own so this isn't even a font that you can go out and get which is super awesome so I'm definitely happy about it and uh, you know happy for that I paid the, the 40 bucks with a tip I think it wound up being about 50 
but definitely well worth the money for an awesome logo. So this is what we'll wind up putting on um, the polo as soon as I get that, business cards, the website, um, things of that nature. And as soon as I get some of that material together, we'll definitely be showing you guys. So that's a wrap for video two on how to start your very own vending machine business. If you have any questions or concerns about the steps that we've taken so far, definitely drop a comment below. I can always make another video or just answer you directly into the comments. Now part three is going to be very exciting because I'm actually going to be showing the delivery of my very first full line vending machine. I'll be showing the delivery and installation to the best of my ability, give you some tips and tricks, things to be looking out for there. And then I'm also going to be showing how to install the NIAX card reader. From there, we're going to hop on over to Sam's Club, get some snacks and some sodas, and get everything stocked. As always, if you'd like to see that video, definitely consider subscribing. Give me a like if you found this information helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.